Okay. We are not here for that. We are here for the one, the only Ignacio Navarro who is going to talk about no parking, no problem. And who knows, maybe we'll figure out how to park when there's no parking. I don't know. Take it away. Everyone can hear me? Yeah. Perfect. So here we go. Uh, my name is Ignacio Navarro. I'm from Cordoba, Argentina. So my first language are Spanish. So be patient because I have to think in Spanish and translate it. And also, this is my first time speaking in a conference uh, in 2000. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, in 2019, uh, this was the first conference I attended outside my country. So I'm so glad to be here today. Um, about the work, I work like a software engineer in Attack IQ. And there is my social media if you have any question or something before the talk. So what will you see? First of all, a little introduction about how it started and that. And then I will show you some bugs I found that in the NFC a web application and other application system. And for then, a little conclusion about how we can match this with the OWASP top 10. Uh, this is not a zero day talk or something like that. It's just to show you how we see it, expose some bugs with a global vulnerability. So the idea for this talk was designed for everyone with or without IT concept can you understand them. So I did a disclaimer because many techniques or procedures are not completely legal. So many companies or organizations can take say, legal action or something like that. So take care and don't do it. If you do it, take care. So how you start? Uh, in one night, I was hanging out with friends, and we are moving to another bar. And I saw that QR code and say something like, uh, now parking is more easy. So and I say, OK, tomorrow I will sit in my desk, and I will check how it is work. So the next night, I start to read a little, bit, a little bit more. And the application was released in December of 2021. Before that, the people use a kind of uh, NFC tag, a, a keychain, one keychain per car. So in December 21, was released then, and now you can set the different cars or, and, and the keychain, and also you can charge the money, you can uh, see a transaction history, you can pay the debt with this, and also you can park the car. Uh, the problems I found them was in March of 2022, of this year, uh, well, there is like a the QR code, there is a login page of the application, and there is a little notice about the when the application was released. So, sorry. Uh, first of all, it tried a, a little word list attack to the to that login page. Um, this didn't work. And um, after that, I tried a SQL injection, but neither. And first, on the finish, I tried to directory list, and I found some interesting directories. One of them are this. It's like a, a kind of um, installation guide or, or readme about the MyFA reader, the reader used for the NFT tags. And in the bottom of the page, you have a, a one zip file. So I downloaded it to just to check what is inside. And I found some interesting files, and one of them are a log file. And the log file have so many HTTP request, and this notices me, okay, maybe we can do some, some SQL injection in there. So now we know we have two sides to start. We can continue with the controller, or we can move into the application and website. I prefer the second one, but well, we are with the controller, so we'll continue with them. What is inside the, the zip file? Uh, basically, the, the zip file are the completely my favorite reader. So if you have a a MyFair reader, or you have Arduino or Raspberry Pi with the NFC uh, writer and reader, you can do whatever you want. Like, uh, I don't know, write, write the tag, uh, create new one, duplicate them, delete them. But well, for do it, uh, you need a key. But the key works hard coded in the code, so if you install them, you can do whatever you want. Um, moving on about the application and website. First of all, I don't oh, blame the application and I decompile them and I try to check if they are encrypted or fuscated or something like that. But nope, they are in plain text, so you can read all the entire code of the application. Uh, and there is a lot of comment lines, like a URL, IP address, and some interesting parts. So I try to try SQL injection in, in them. So 
and one of them work. Models PHP, you have one, one SQL inject them. So after exploit them, we found 92 tables, all of them in plain test. And the most interesting, I think, are the users tables, where you have the users and the administration, uh, all the credentials, like a user and pass. And also, if this, did, if this didn't work, you have the ID session. So you can replace them in your navigator, and you can log in successfully, too. So I tried to log it in with the admin credential, and this did work. So now you have the entire control of the system. But what does it mean? So you can get the IP of the parking meter. You can delete them. You can turn off them. Also, you can delete or create new users or administrator, too. Uh, you can see all the transaction, uh, charge money, delete the debt. You can do whatever you want. So moving a little bit about the users, uh, in that system, almost, uh, there are almost 70K users, all of them with the personal data and the parking data. About the personal data, you have a, a the ID number, phone number, the address of the of his home. So, and about the parking data, you have a lot of information about like, uh, okay, maybe this person uh, park every day at the same hour and the same place for the same time. So maybe this person worked there. And I don't know, I think this is a risky information if something with bad in, someone with bad intention get this or, or something like that. So, after this, I, I started reading a little bit more how this work and that. And I looked the same system was implemented in, in five different countries uh, along the Argentina, biggest and medium cities. But I think this. Uh, so now you don't have a 70K user uh, data about 70K users. You have a lot of more data, uh, risky data, confidential data. So I think that is a big deal. And for the finish of the talk, I, what is OWASP? OWASP is an organization focused in security, web security uh, applications. So, and the OWASP top 10 is like a standard or something like that for the, for the developers or for security engineers. And for example, the number one, the item number one of the broken access control, where we can see that. We can find them in the, in the page where we found the controller code where we start everything. Uh, the number two, the hierarchy failure, we can find them in the controller of the DB, or we can find them in the application code. About the injection, well, the SQL injection, we found them. Well, after that, we found the users and the passwords. About the secure design, well, I think the application and the web page have the secure design. And they, the, the OS top 10 have a six more items, so I think if you never read them, it's so recommended to do it. There is a QR code for the OWASP. So, and for the finish this, a little update of this. Uh, all of them was reported and, and was informed for the people. They give me the thanks and that, and they fixed the model of PHP. But when I was writing in this, I tried to log it in with the old credentials, and this, did, and this worked, so they, they, they didn't change the password and that. And also, they still have some SQL in check and that. But, well, I don't know. We are people. We make mistakes, I think. So. But just, just that, I think that was so fast, yeah. But, yeah, anything else? Thank you. <laughs> nice say. Talk more. Uh, that is all, but I you know I Does, think, I think so fast. Sorry. <laughs> okay, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? It went kind of fast, and hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so, how did reporting work? Were they prepared for that at all, or did you have to go through some kind of admin address to get to the right person? I inform, the question is: I report them for the all different cities on that. Well, just a lot of times if a system is that insecure, they don't have the mechanism in place, like talk to this person about a security yeah. issue. Did they have that in place? I send, okay, they're, they're using it in five different cities. So mm -hmm. I send them to each one of that city, to the government for that city, for the developers of that, and just give, just response me like that from Rio Cuarto people. Mm -hmm. But they after fix all of them. So it's just what the, I don't know if it was the director or something like that, the okay. company. 
So not security at the city, but maybe not the worst thing. Okay, no. that's cool. Thank you. And for that, wait, you get swag. Go ahead and ask your question. Uh, so when you got into the admin portal for the parking bank, you just did a dictionary attack? And it was... I, I tried the dictionary attack, but they didn't work. So, okay. And the password are not completely easily to broken, though. So it's, it's not a typical password. So, How did you ultimately get in, though? Like... With the screen check them. I tried to execute and check them with that endpoint. So, and I you found everything because the password and the text are in plain text. So, and also you have the ID session if you want. Hmm. But I don't know if you're responding to your question. So, you don't pay for parking anymore, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. How long did it take you to actually do the attack from start to finish? Just a few hours, I don't know, two hours maybe. Because already, as, as I say, it's just a acknowledging ability. If you have a one pad in your mind, you can still continue and, and you they maybe will work. So. See, now you know for the next revision of this talk, you can add a few of these questions that are being asked. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh. oh. How did you know um, which cities use the same parking system? Because I tried the second check in two. How many other cities did you try? Five. It's just five? Yeah. So five out of five. Yeah. So if you think if we tried six, would you get six out of no, six? No, no. Five includes Rio Cuarto. Five including Rio Cuarto. Yeah. OK. So I noticed San Francisco was up there. San Francisco from Argentina. San Francisco from our, oh, I'm sorry, I see, okay. Argentina have San Francisco gotcha, too. Gotcha. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Did you ever consider using your administrative access to the uh, thing to fix the holes? Like log in and then change their passwords? Yeah, this is the best way I think, but I don't know. I, I'm not the security director of the company, but yeah, the, the best stuff are change everything. I ask for each one to, okay, you, you need to change your password and fix all of them, so. Nothing else? Nope. Awesome, thank you so much. See there, you extended it a little more. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much.